Hello everybody. Um, right down here I have an amazing piece of a kit. It's uh, a blast from the past really. One of the first um, transceivers made on an industrial scale. It's the uh, FT, Yaesu FT-101EE. There was The original one was called FT-101, then there was an FT-1B, an FT-1E, FT-1, FT-101E, FT-101EE, and I believe there's also an FT-1 101EX. Uh, however, this one just arrived this morning from Romania, that's why I bought it. And uh, it's in near perfect condition. There are some stickers on the front to make operating and tuning um, the PA section easier, I suppose. But other than that, it arrived scratch free. It doesn't smell of nicotine. I hope the camera doesn't shake too much. Um, sorry about that. Um, even the handle is nice, is nice and clean. The previous owner assured me it worked okay, but it hasn't been used for quite a while. So um, the smart idea is, I believe, to power it up with a variable transformer, uh, starting at say 50 volts and power it up all the way up to 240 volts in uh, small steps. So I'm going to take my time with this. Then uh, we will try it out, put it on antenna and see if it performs well. If not, I mean, they're not very hard to fix the components in there, all very simple, as you can imagine. Um, as long as the transformer is not damaged, uh, it should be, it should be okay. Um, let's take a quick look inside, shall we? Right, this is the top view, and I'm going to open the lid now. And put it to the side before it goes all over the place. Remarkably clean. You can tell right away it's the E version, it's got the, uh, the processor built in with the filter. Uh, the exciter uh, sits here, the exciter sits here. These are not bulging, that's always a good sign. The uh, HT com dip uh, compartment is clean, the transformer doesn't leak, and uh, the VFO is very smooth as well. I have to say, it appears as if this unit has the CW filter fitted. I believe uh, it sits on top of this, this unit, but I have to investigate this later. All the drive shafts are clean, and they move easily, all very smooth. So, so far so good. I'm very happy with the purchase. And um, as I said, I'm going to use a Variac now. Um, so the components, if they haven't been used for a while, don't get stressed. And especially these ones here, I had I had them blow up in my face at one 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 stage uh, when I didn't have the, the didn't, when I didn't have the experience of um, using a Variac first. Um, but you learn as you go. That's our hobby is all about learning as you go, really. All right, bear with me, and I'm back in a in a flash uh, when we put the transceiver um, on a suitable antenna. Okay, so far nothing has exploded, and I'm going to switch it on. Yeah, even the S meter light works. It's always a bonus. Um, I can't remember if this should be lit up or not, but it can't be a big deal to put. Um, a white or blue LED behind the scale and um, get some light into it. Let's see. We are on 20 meters on a 43 foot vertical. A bit of fine tuning. I'm not going to transmit yet. Yeah, bye bye to you too. To my amazement, the uh, receiver is quite lively. Most of the times when I get one of these old rigs, uh, the VFO suffers from, from stiffness really, but this one is smooth, smooth like butter. I'm well impressed, I think this transceiver might be a keeper. I've got another front panel for it, so I put another front panel on, some of the decals, 
have vanished over the years and uh, these ones bug me too but I've got a few front panels left um, which are in mint condition so it will take a while to put one on but it's not such a big deal really okay so far nothing has exploded and I'm going to switch it on Yeah, even the S meter light works. It's always a bonus. Um, I can't remember if this should be lit up or not, but it can't be a big deal to put um, a white or blue LED behind the scale and um, get some light into it. Let's see. We are on 20 meters on a 43 foot vertical. A bit of fine tuning. I'm not going to transmit yet. Yeah, bye bye to you too. To my amazement, the uh, receiver is quite lively. Most of the times when I get one of these old rigs, uh, the VFO suffers from, from stiffness really, but this one is smooth, smooth like butter. I'm well impressed, I think this transceiver might be a keeper. I've got another front panel for it, so I put another front panel on. Some of the decals have vanished over the years and uh, these ones bug me too. But I've got a few front panels left. Um, which are in mint condition, so it will take a while to put one on but it's not such a big deal really Let's see if the CW filter is actually fitted. Oh yeah. It needs some, some tweaking I suppose. The tone is a little bit rough. It appears to be a 500 hertz CW filter. It needs definitely some fine tuning, but that's not a big deal at all. The receiver itself is very lively, so um, that's absolutely great. And it might even transmit without problem, I'll try later. But even if it doesn't, it won't be a big deal to sort this side out. Okay, um, I am quite... This is focusing. I'm quite impressed with the transceiver. I'm happy with the purchase. And uh, I'm going to spend some time on um, aligning everything and fine-tuning everything. Clean it up even a, a little bit more. Put, in a, put on a new front panel and uh, hopefully it will last me for a long long time um, if you get your hands on one which is clean and unmodified by all means go ahead buy one they're great fun to operate and uh, okay it's not the latest technology obviously 
but uh, that should not stop you from enjoying amateur radio. Uh, you should be able to pick one up between 100 and 150 pounds, not more than that by, by no, yeah, 150 pounds tops. And that's for the E. The simple uh, 101, 50 pounds, 101B, 100 pounds, something like that. It depends what it's worth to you. Um, okay, so far so good. Um, a nice blast from the past. Uh, thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe if you like. Thank you. Bye-bye.